you know, <clears throat> you know, just sitting, you know, listening, okay, who are you calling a hoe, I'm going to tell you that, like, these people say they got family drama, well, gee, no wonder why, why are you calling random people a hoe for, that's why you got family drama, that's why you got family problems, I don't know who these people think they are, but you're not going to sit there and call me a hoe. I don't know who was, I bet, I guess they were ranting about a crystal and a KK. I don't know, don't care, but you're not going to sit there and call me a hoe in your life and your family gang up on me. And then you wonder why people were saying you guys were rude on your guys' live. Because I was sitting there, I was hearing how they act towards others, that's why nobody respects them. Because they want to sit there and belittle somebody they don't even know, because they got family drama. Okay, if you want the drama to stop, stop coming at random people and stop calling them names, then there wouldn't be no issues. I don't care, because this woman's mother is having her daughters do her dirty work to attack Random people out of disrespect. And then they wonder why there's drama coming to them. I say that family had karma and they got it. That family deserved karma. From how I see how they talk to people and others. And there was a comment that was made that they were being so rude to people. Talk about some about a proof. I don't know. They were talking about an Aries. I don't know who they were ranting about, but you're not going to sit there and call me a hoe in your life, and you're not going to have your daughters gang up on me. That ain't going to fly. I don't care who you think you are. You ain't going to be disrespecting me. I don't even know you. You don't know me. But you're not going to be letting your daughters gang up on me on your life because you want to act crazy for cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. You don't even know my family. You do not know me personally, but you're not going to be saying shit and calling people hoes and calling them trolls because I was watching your guys' behavior. How you are and how you act. You're saying you want the drama to stop? No wonder why your family has gotten karma to all of you. No wonder why stuff has backfired. No wonder why your lives have went to shambles because you fucked with everybody and anybody. That's karma. Upon that family, they're not protected from the karma. And they're probably going to get more karma just by coming at me and calling me a hoe. When I was sitting there hearing, because they were ranting about an Aries and about a KK and a crystal over something, I don't know. Like I said, I don't care. But that's how families get cursed out here. And you want to have a lot of nerves say, I'm sitting there being a troll. I wanted to make sure that they weren't talking smack about me. Because I do know a crystal and I know a KK out here. That's why I was listening to that live. Now, I don't know what Aries they were talking about, but you're not going to be ganging up on me with your daughters. That's Rico crime. And that is gang stalking. And that's organization when you think you got to gang up on everybody. And that mother is letting her daughters gang up on everybody and anybody. Try that with someone else's family and see what happens. Yeah, you say that your daughter's got a mouth. So pretty much what you're emitting out there to the world is that you're making your daughters do your dirty work and popping off on everybody for no apparently good reason. I was listening, like I said, they were talking about a KK, they were talking about a crystal, then they said an Aries. That's what I was listening to, to make sure that it wasn't the exact same people that I knew. Because if there is an issue, I would have to look into it on who the crap started what. But like I said, they didn't have to call me a hoe. They didn't have to call me a troll. Try that with someone else's family. Because others do got a mouth on them. Just because your daughters, because you want to sick your daughters on people and say, well, they got a mouth. They're going to protect their mama. Well, guess what? Teach them morals as a parent. 
Because if you're a parent, you're dealing with something, you don't seek your kids on another individual who don't even know them. You know we got families out here that would take care of that in a heartbeat. You just don't jump at people. You don't come at anybody. You don't come at anybody sideways. That's disrespectful. Them people need morals. Out in the real reality. You didn't have to call me a hoe. And you didn't have to call me a troll. But I bet you they didn't know that. The reason why I was listening in for so long was because I know a crystal and I know a KK. And I want to make sure it ain't somebody that I know started stuff that I don't know behind my back that got that family started. Oh, but guess what? Foot in the mouth. Maybe they should think next time before they want to attack me with a whole bunch of family and friends on that app. I don't care who you are. I don't care about your issues. All I cared about was when Crystal and KK got mentioned and then Aries got mentioned. Because if there is a problem, I'm going to have to fix it. I will get my answers. If that's the exact same people they were speaking upon. Now, they didn't say where KK and Crystal was from. They were not Pacific. And the gentleman's name is JoJo. So, key word. Why is that family ganging up on me? When... They said, when they said some between KK and Crystal and Aries, because not everybody's name is Aries on TikTok. Now, if there's a personal issue that I don't know about, you know, you would think it's common sense because I know them too, but I don't know if it's the exact same people that they're talking about because she's trying, like these people are ready to jump at people. Calling everybody a hoe in the live. Just going off on everybody. Being rude as hell. And popping off with that mouth. And talking out the side of their neck. But I bet you they didn't know that. Why I was <coughs> listening. To what they were talking about. Who was involved. Who was it about. Because I know I've been having some issues. Where people goes out there. And start some stuff that I don't know so that means people need to stop coming at people and stop disrespecting people and attacking people no wonder why your family has straight up karma no wonder why you guys or lives are in shambles why you always have issues it's because of how you step towards others out here you always step to people and thinking what you do is all fun and games and it's not. No, I'm not going to stop. Because I'm not going to have a family ganging up on me. And disrespecting me, excuse you. Who do you think you are? What, you're a posse for them? No, I don't think so. I'm not about to have a lot of people, a family, ganging up on me. Because I can get a hold of my family to gang up on them. My family don't fucking play out here. They need to be careful who they're coming at. I didn't do anything to these people. They're just rude as fuck as individuals. So don't be telling me to stop. Once you disrespect me and you call me a hoe for no fucking reason. Oh, yeah. Trust and believe. I'll get my family on their asses real quick. Since they want to pop off at everybody, want to be disrespectful towards everybody and not understanding why I was listening to their live. Because there has been some weird stuff going on. And they just popped off with their mouth. Now they're going to look like jackasses. And they're going to have to eat their words. And they're going to look like idiots. Forever calling me that. Because think about it. Not every, not everybody's name is Aries on this app. It's a very rare occasion. Very, very rare. But I'm not about to have a mother and her daughters and another dude think they could gang up on me. And want to call me names? You got me fucked up out here. Don't do that to me. Because my family don't play like that out here. Just because you think you can do what you do? Your mom is a bad influence and she's a fuck up as a parent. That's why families have issues. No wonder why they have drama coming to them. Because they don't know how to respect people. They don't know when to back off. They don't know when to be quiet. Real facts. 
my family's the one who don't play, who gangs up on me real quick, real facts. But I'm not going to tolerate the disrespect from all them. That's all their family, and some of them are friends that will gang up on you real quick just because they don't like you or because they're so cautious. No, 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 no. That does not mean you come out here and just disrespect somebody just because you're on a kick. You want to get your truth out, that's fine. But don't be taking, don't be projecting your bullshit onto me. Don't you dare be a narcissistic, abusive person towards me. You did the worst mistake out here towards me. I am not the best person. Once you disrespect me, I haven't done anything to you. You have caused a war with you. Your family is asking for more karma and more issues and problems that you don't need on top. Trust and believe that. My ancestors are going to fuck you up. Now I'm going to let them because that's what you get for running your mouth way too quickly. You know, it's common sense. When you hear about anybody speaking upon a situation, and that's why you listen, because when they say Crystal or KK, but you got to understand something. How do I not know there's something going on that I need to take control of? They don't know that, that I know KK and Crystal, but they could be talking about some somebody completely different. But how do I not know that? That's why I was sitting there listening. But they want to sit there and call me a hoe and a troll. Knowing there's been some weird stuff going on that does need to be put under control. And this is what I'm talking about. There are a lot of people coming at people way too much. Sideways. Talking outside of their neck way too much. And you think I'm going to sit here and let your mother and your daughters talk crap about me? Mm -mm, I don't think so. This is not how it goes. You're a fuck up as a parent. And that is very disrespectful on your part. That you would get your kids to gang up on a person. You, you actually know what that is? That's organization. You know that, right? When you're ganging up on one person... That's organization and that has to do with gang stalking. And those are charges that people do not want. But that's the thing, though. No, they don't, they speak, and then guess what? Then they're going to have to eat their words, foot in their own mouths. Once you disrespect me like that, it's fair game to me. I don't care who you are. I don't care who your family is. Once you come at me sideways, I didn't do nut to you. You just ask for a war, I'm going to bring it to you. You don't do that to me. I do not let nobody get away with that towards me. I don't and I won't. See, but that's the thing, though. They like to run their mouth so much that they're talking about so many different things. And then she crying half to death because the mother was drinking, probably an alcoholic. But then her daughter's are pretty much, pretty much she, she's letting her kids snap on everybody else. But guess what? There's some people who's got a mouth too that knows how to shut a mouth up like that. Out here. Trust and believe that. But then these people are going to say, why are you attacking my daughters? It's like you're the one attacking people first. Huh? Hello? Common sense? Why would you sit there... And call somebody some that didn't even do anything to you. But then when somebody stands up for themselves or say something. And then you want to get all crying and saying people are bullying you and giving you drama. Your family's full of drama. That's why. Your family has nothing but bad karma. Because everybody quit protecting them. Hate to tell you that. That's why. That's why their lives are in shambles. That's why they've been having problems. You know, I don't know what that family did, but they did something to somebody's ancestors and huh, they're finding out the consequences. You don't just come at somebody randomly talking outside of your neck and you think you're cute and then there's a mother allowing it. No, 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 no. You're a grown woman. You're a mother. You can fight your battles by yourself. You don't need your kids or saying sick them. Literally, you are allowing your daughters to attack people and call them names for no reason on your life. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't 
think so. I usually let it go, but when there's about one, two, three, four, five, five family members, about one, two, three, four was on the live, one is a friend, and then another person, mm -mm, I'm one person and you're ganging up on me, mm -mm, I won't tolerate that. Mm -mm. You're playing with fire there with me. Mm -mm. That's why you really shouldn't be calling people names who don't even know you. Because you don't know what other people are going to do. Since you called me a hoe and you're attacking me, my family don't like it when people attack me in groups. So huh, that family's kind of screwed. But like I said, I had good attentions. They didn't. So guess what? Law of karma, cause and effect. I was sitting there trying to figure out a situation about a crystal and a KK for a good while. I was in there for a very good while. And I'm going to post it up that one of her daughters called me a hoe. And they were ganging up on me with a dude. That's with one of her daughters you ain't ganging up on me and get away with it mm -mm, I don't think so that's not how we play out here people who usually gangs up on me ends up with karma so pretty much from how I'm seeing it that family is always crying complaining that they say well people are giving us problems well gee I wonder why people are giving your families guys as problems look how you treat people you don't like it when it comes back to you, though. But you can go out here and call people names, though. But you don't like it when people tell you you're being rude. It's like it's like, it's like like a hurt to your ego. It kills you. So then you want to snap on people. But not understanding that mother is not being taken advantage of. What I say is that if she's letting her daughters attack people, that's taking advantage of a person. So these people think they got a mouth on them. Her daughters think they got a mouth on them. Trust and believe, most of us got mouths too. I'm not going to tolerate. This is not the first time. I've had a lot of people and groups and families, because I do have proof of it, that's always ganging up on me. Like I said, that's about one, two, three four daughters and one dude count that up one two three four five possibly six six people who came at me for no reason you know what just because you got family problems don't mean you could take it out on me and you are not projecting your stuff onto me you need to learn how to be nice to people and you're gonna learn how to respect people or Something's going to happen where it's going to make you humble. It's either going to take something, because from how the way I'm seeing it, when I'm just, I'm just sitting there, how the way they speak to people, how the way they talk to people, it just shows karma, judgments have been on their heads for a very, very long time. And they're not done. That family of theirs is not done with their karma. Mm-mm. They're not done. That's why their lives are in shambles. They always complain that people are screwing with them. That nobody will help them. Well, gee, there could be a reason behind why they're not helping that family. Because there could have been an instigator. You know, you also got to look at both sides, too. Like, this woman was complaining that an Aries always gets help. And that Aries needs to come in this box. So they could pop off at an Aries. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, what in the tar are they provoking? You know, there's a lot of different people with Aries names on here. Now, if they were talking about a different person, understandable, but that does not mean that you can talk your shit knowing my name is Aries too on here. They were really popping off of the mouth. That was very reckless. Like, they were literally trying to provoke a fight. 
with whoever they were talking about. I don't know who this Aries is. I don't know who they were talking about. I don't care. But you're provoking a fight with people. Just because you have family issues, that's because you guys have karma that you guys have not. You got Your family is not done with the karma. You guys have screwed over so many people from how the way you speak, how the way you're so disrespectful. There is no favor in that family. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't come at me in groups with families. That's why you leave me the hell alone. That's why you don't attack me. And then these people expect you to sit there and let you disrespect them. But, haha, <laughs> key word, that one daughter says, well, I'm not going to sit here and let an Aries talk her crap. Well, guess what? I'm not going to let you talk shit about me and let you get away with it running your mouth. That's why you really shouldn't come at someone because then they're going to look like an idiot when they get told, um... Why did you go off on someone? Why did you call somebody a hoe? Why did you try to provoke someone? Knowing they were trying to figure out a situation, that's going to make them look dumb as hell. See, this is what I don't understand. Yeah, I understand you guys are mad, but that don't mean that you could go after someone just because their name is Aries. Now, if there is something serious that I need to know about, that I don't know about, that's why I paid attention. So apparently, I guess for me, trying to figure out what KK or Crystal did, I I guess that makes me a hoe, and that makes me a troll. When, if there is something going on, I need to fix it, or try to get my answers, apparently I'm a bad person to them. Apparently they want to snap on me for something I don't know. But like I said, when Crystal and KK got mentioned, I'm thinking, what in the, what in the hell did Crystal or KK started? That was literally in the back of my head the whole entire time. I heard these people ranting and complaining. Was what did KK or Crystal do out here that I'm unaware of? Oh, but excuse me, they're such good people, right? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay for to come at someone that probably is trying to figure out a situation that's trying to be helpful and then they want to spit in my face? They want to disrespect me? Uh-uh. That's why that family's got karma and judgment on their heads even more. So there's got to be more karma added to that family because they don't know when to shut up. They don't know when to shut their mouths and learn how to be a decent individual. That's a family curse on them. It's screwed up. Just by how the way they speak, how the way their demeanor is towards strangers, they literally want to attack you. Just because they don't know you. Or they're going to call you a name. And they snapped on someone because they were being rude. And I seen it because I was, I was in their life for a very good while. That, yeah, these people right here in her life, yeah, they were kind of being rude to others. But, yes, at the exact same time, it's okay to get your truth out. It's okay to speak about what you need to get off your chest. But that don't mean you got to project everything onto everybody and attack everybody. You need to chill it. Because not everybody's going to tolerate you. And then you're going to wonder, well, I shouldn't have said this. Well, I shouldn't have said that. Now, there's more family drama that we got to deal with. Well, gee, I wonder why. I wonder why you always have drama in your guys' life. Because they say that you guys are always the problem. Well, I don't know you that well. But how the way you come off at people, you kind of are the issue. And you kind of are the problem when you were trying to project onto me when you started calling me a hoe and a troll. I didn't even say anything in the comments. I was completely watching to understand the situation. That if I need to step in to do anything. Oh, but apparently, I guess uh, that, that makes them so perfect, right? That makes them so cool that they want to snap their mouths off to a random individual and gang up on one person. That makes you so perfect, don't it? I forgot. 
is because that family thinks they're powerful when they gang up on one person. What? So does that actually make you feel better? That you actually called me a hoe? Do you actually feel better for projecting your BS onto me? You're trying to project onto me. I don't think so. I say, huh, I banish you forever out of this world. I don't welcome you in my energy. I don't welcome any of you in my energy. That's what I'm saying, though. Now, at first, when I was hearing it, I kind of felt bad for her. But then once I saw, see, but things, though, the mother was drinking. So... She could be a complete different person tonight, and then tomorrow, she's probably not going to remember what she said, what she did, what she let her daughters do. But if you're upset, that's understandable. But don't be projecting your BS onto everybody and anybody. Because maybe... I was trying to figure out maybe if it was the exact same people that I knew, maybe I need to step in to take care of it. But they didn't really explain where these people were from. See, see, that's the thing, though. They didn't really explain where they were from. I don't know if one of them said Michigan, but still the fact is that you said Aries. Like, you were really talking smack no, and I was probably the only Aries on there, and you guys were just going haywired on me and just trying to justify that there's an Aries and KK and Crystal that nobody won't do anything about this Aries. I'm sitting here like, what? Like, literally, and in, in my thoughts, I was thinking, what did KK and Crystal do out here? <sighs> That I'm unaware of. I was more worrying about that. I did not care how they were crap talking. I didn't care about that. But I bet you they're going to look like idiots once they truthfully find out. That's what I was trying to figure out. If it was the two people that I knew, if I had to step in and take care of it myself. But no, they just wanted to attack and just talk outside of their neck. Disrespectful. Just not without a care. You know? That's why That's why it's better to not call anybody nothing. Because if you don't truthfully know them to a somewhat degree, that's why you don't come at people. Because you don't know. Because my intentions were good of trying to figure out, okay, they're talking about two people. I know a Crystal and I know a KK. But apparently, they didn't know my intentions were good. Apparently, those, <laughs> their intentions were were more, like, bad towards me. Because they called me a name and then they called me a troll. Their attentions are not good out here. Because they're too angry. That clouds their mind. That's what I didn't like. So, yeah, I do have a right to post this. And I will let my family know about this. That you came at me weird tonight. Plus, I've been having issues with people ganging up on me. Which you may have put yourself in the middle of a show that you don't want i've been dealing with some very serious things here since you attacked me how do i not know you're not helping the outlaws that's why you don't attack people that's why you leave people alone that's why you don't call them names that's why you leave them alone they're so angry that their minds is so clouded by anger it's just like whenever they seen aries it like it <laughs> It made them so angry. And then I'm I'm trying to think what the crap's going on. You know, because if, if anybody else has heard something, and like, let's say for an example, let's say it was somebody else, and they knew the exact same people. You know, somebody would be wanting to have good attentions of trying to understand, are they talking about a correct person? Are they talking about the exact same people that I might know? That I might need to step in to get my answers, to get something to see, but they didn't know that. That's what I'm trying to understand about people. You know? That's why you just don't jump at people. My intentions were good. My intentions were not bad. But I do have a right to speak up and say you're not going to disrespect me. 
when I was trying to figure out some, I've been dealing with some very serious, serious things here. I'm trying to make sure I don't get kidnapped by the outlaws. I'm trying to make sure that our family don't get hurt. And then I got to deal with that. You know, I'm so used to people and groups and families attacking me all at once. I'm so used to this, it's not funny. And I've even called another parent a failure because they let their kids attack me. That's why I said, you're a parent, you're a fucking failure if you're going to do that. And they really can't be upset with what I'm saying. Because you wanted to come at me knowing I was just watching... Then you want to call me a hoe. Then you want to call me a troll. When you don't know my intentions were. My intentions were good. Guess what? More karma is slapped in judgment upon your family's heads. As of tonight. That's how I see it. That's why you don't attack people. This is why you leave people alone. My intentions were good. That family's was not. They were more like an uh, rage ready to bite someone's head off. Like, they were literally, like, just keep saying, well, get Aries in the box, because I'm going to tell her off. You know, that's provoking, right? You know, that's technically forcing someone to get violent, right? Do you not understand what how the way you came off? Because I, I actually got the recording of all this. From the wherever I started from, I have it all recording, and then I have a second recording when that girl called me a hoe. I got it on record of how you're acting towards others. I got it all, okay? That's why. You shouldn't be coming at people. Like I said, I have a lot of things going on. I don't have time for this pettiness because if there is something I need to do, to get something to stop with KK or Crystal, I'll do it. But now, I'm not helping you because if I get involved, that's going to stop your karma. So, you just screwed yourself. That now, since I know what you're doing, I'm not getting involved. I'm not protecting you. Because if I step in between your karma, I ain't get, uh uh-uh. I'm not about to have, I'm not about to step in between your guys' karma, uh uh-uh. But I was going to be nice enough to take care of KK and Crystal if I had to. If that's the exact same people that we're talking about. (laughs) You know? I was going to be nice like that, but ever since you called me a hoe, ever since you called me a troll hoe, I'm not going to help you now. You could just sit and stand with your karma. You made your bed, now lay in it. I'm not helping you, and I'm not going to protect you. Because you deserve the karma that's on your guys' family. That's why you should never take somebody for granted who was trying to figure out something. You know what I mean? Oh, trust me. My family don't like bullies. They don't like people ganging up on me. And I know my family is on TikTok. They watch everything that I talk about, what I speak about. But that was probably not a very smart thing on you of what you did, knowing what I've been dealing with on very serious levels. You shouldn't have done it. Because I'm very highly, like literally spiritually on guard. My energy is so protected that it's making me tired and it's draining me so bad to a core that I'm trying to protect myself, and then I'm also trying to protect Braylon right now. Energy is not something... See, ever since you disrespected me, my ancestors detect it. My ancestors knows who you are, and that really fired up my ancestors. That you pretty much ganged up on me for no reason. Yeah, you've actually ticked off my ancestors tonight, which that's your problem, <laughs> not mine. You know, you shouldn't be playing with a spiritual person out here. You really shouldn't. But you didn't know that. Not everybody does. And then that's probably why, I bet you, the reasons why this family's got karma is because they have attacked 
spiritual people and they didn't realize that some of the people were gifted. That's why that family is in shambles right now. That's why they're having the problems that they're having and having drama in their life. Because they're attacking people that are very gifted. And that's their punishment. That's their karma. So that's what it is. That you have attacked people that's very gifted out here. You didn't know it. That can actually curse these people's families by doing that. And everybody says, no, nah, no. Nah. And then guess what? Then later on, the people that mess with you for no reason, but you do have a right to speak upon it. You do have a right to warn them what they may have done to themselves and their families by messing with that on a level. So, since you called me that, now I don't have to help you. Because if it is Crystal and KK, I'm not helping you. Because I'm not stepping in between your karma. Mm -mm, I won't do it. Because huh, God said, stand clear and let these people, that family, deal with their karma. Let them deal. Pretty much let them cry a river and let them deal and sit with the consequences of keep coming at people and being rude. Yes, it's okay to speak your truth. We're all human. But that does not mean you always gotta attack. You know? Even I had to learn it. Because I'm the type of person... See, like... I'm not perfect. But I'm not gonna let people sit there and disrespect me. See, but that's the weird thing is that... I'm the only Aries, I think, in that chat. And how the way that daughter was speaking to me... This woman's daughter... Was very, very fighting words. Like she was saying... Get up in here, Aries. I'm gonna tell you... A, like, she was going like... Hmm. Crazy for cuckoo puffs on me. Like she was a bound to term and like what happens if it's not the exact same Aries? What if it's not? You would feel like a jackass afterwards. That's why you shouldn't attack people. Maybe, you know, there are some decent people in the world. You don't always got to attack people. You don't always have to gang up on people. You don't have to do it. But that's the thing, though. What you guys are doing, you're all in a family group. I'm one person. Okay? I'm one person. And it's mainly one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Of their family, that was just a friend to them. You're not ganging up on me. Trust me, the day you gang up on me, people have made the worst mistake out here. Is by ganging up on me or talking really some towards me, I don't let you get away with it. I'll speak upon it, I will try to let it go, but <laughs> I'm done giving people warnings. I get people no mercy. I don't give you no mercy. How the way you came at me, I have no mercy upon you. I do not feel sorry for my enemies. They get what they get. You know? They're the ones putting it out to the universe. All this talking. All this negativity. That's what they get. And then they're crying a river about the backlash of how they treat others. It's because they didn't realize... They were coming at people who were very gifted. Who knows how to send their projections, their negativity back upon them. That's why that mother is very emotional. She's pretty much having a breakdown. Because she can't handle what's being done to her. So I believe that family may have done something to a lot of people in the past that it's came back around upon them. Because this is the year of karma. That's what I truthfully believe. I believe that family did something to a lot of people. May have caused people issues and problems and drama that they didn't deserve. Now that family is starting to get that karma back upon them. And it's stressing them out. Well gee, I wonder why. Leave people alone. 
and stop calling people's names that you don't know. And then there would be less drama upon your life. That's why you don't come at me. I was going to be nice, but uh-uh, not now. Not after what you called me. Not every all of you ganging up on... Mm, I don't think so. And how the way you were speaking to me, you were trying to provoke me to try to get violent. Mm-mm. Because I'm violent myself in my own way. I chose... Like, you know how hard it was for me to sit there and listen to these people saying, well, Aries is this, Aries that. But you got to remember, I'm not the only Aries on TikTok. So you would feel really bad if you met about a different Aries out here. You would feel like an idiot. But then she's crying and saying that nobody would help her because everybody's on Aries' side. And I'm the only Aries in that chat. I didn't see no other Aries in that chat. Like, it was really strange to me. And then a Crystal and a KK, you know? It was really strange. And how the way these people just popped off. Constantly saying, well, I'm going to sick my daughters on you because they got a mouth. So pretty much you're encouraging your daughters to be a bully. You're encouraging a man to come at a female. Oh, that's real lovely. <laughs> that's real lovely on your part, woman. That's real lovely on your part. That you encourage your daughters to have their boyfriends to gang up on a female. Oh, that's real lovely to know. Oh, but you say that you're such good people. You are crying because people are bullying you. But look how you treat others. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Usually when people come at me like that, I try to ignore it. But once you call me a certain name and you cross me the wrong way, I'm going I'm to actually speak upon it. I'm going to try to forgive you, but I usually don't forgive people once they do that to me. It's not that I hold grudges. is that I usually don't let stuff go and I don't let it slide. Because apparently you're not letting Aries slide, which I don't know who the hell you're talking about. Because there's different ones out here. I was trying to have good intentions, not bad intentions. But apparently they thought I was trying to have bad intentions. When that wasn't the case. Now you guys are going to look like idiots and morons. You guys are pretty much going to look like jackasses. That you legitimately came at somebody and came at somebody ridiculously was trying to figure out a situation now since you called me all that I'm not helping you I'm staying out of the way God said stand clear the ancestor said stand clear let you deal with your karma that's what pretty much God my ancestor said you have more karma coming to your family of what you did tonight and I ain't the only one that you guys have came at that has spiritual gifts out here that's why they're having issues uh huh I could be wrong I don't know but I'm not going to tolerate you ganging up on me and disrespecting me <laughs> because I really because they really weren't pacific you know on really the situation and the mother was drinking which it doesn't help your mind state but it does make you speak the truth, though. It makes you kind of speak the truth. So pretty much the truthful part about that mother is that she will get her daughters to attack you. Keyword, that mother was drinking. So anything she says that I sick my daughters on people, that's pretty much what she pretty much told the truth about. Is that she... Gets her kids involved to jump people for no reason. And that family gets very offended very easily. So that family gets triggered very quickly. Could be trauma triggers. It could be triggers of not wanting to hear it. Of how they are, that they are rude people. So that means if other people are saying they're rude, their aura is off. Their energy is very low vibrational. That's what people means by when they tell you 
you're being rude. Why are you being rude to everybody? It's because they're in lower vibration. Anybody in low vibration and you're high vibration, they will instantly snap at you. You know, it took years to control that, to understand energies. You know what I mean? It takes time. But uh, usually what happens is that karmics, oh shoot, oh shoot, those families are karmics. Oh buddy, that's a problem. They thrive off of belittling people they thrive. See, but the problem is that they say that others make videos of them. and saying that people are belittling them, but they belittle people who don't even say much. <laughs> Please make it make sense. Reverse psychology. Narcissistic, pretty much. Abusers. Abusive. Please make it make sense here. That they're saying that people are bullying them, but they're all lashing out and calling people this and calling them that, but they're crying wolf right now, is what I'm being told. My ears are ringing like crazy. They're crying wolf. Because they can't handle their actions of what they do to others. Uh huh. Their energy is more on. See, but think, but see, but this is really weird though. That the daughters try to put the mother back in check so nobody will take advantage of her mother, but the mother makes her kids disrespect others. Please make it make sense. The daughter is trying to put the mother back in check. Don't let nobody disrespect you. Okay, you get that, right? Okay, the daughter and the mother. The daughter's trying to tell the mother, don't let nobody disrespect you, right? Okay, now get this. <sighs> These people think they can just disrespect you whenever they want. Like, they expect you to be quiet. I don't like that. That really irritates me, that you are abusive... And you think people are going to take what you say. Pretty much you want people to shush it. While you give out really negative things. And you expect people to be quiet. I don't think so. I don't know who you are. I don't care about your situation. But I was concerned when KK and Crystal got mentioned. And then you completely went berserk. Because I was the only Aries on that live. But I'm not helping. Not after what you did. Your slick little comment and having a man coming at me too. Uh -uh. I ain't gonna deal with that. La last time a man and a woman ganged up on me, it didn't turn out very well for them in real life. I'm not gonna tolerate a man and a woman ganging up on me at once or a whole bunch of people in one family gonna gang up on me. I don't tolerate that. My family don't play that out here. And trust and believe. Try it. Try it upon people out here. Try that upon a random person and see what their family members will do. You guys will be crying and complaining that people are bullying you and doing this and this and that. And the third, knowing that you want to call people randomly things when you shouldn't. When you don't know the person's attentions. That's where it is. They get mad. When you stand up to them, that's what it is. These people get so angry. Is that because these people can disrespect you? But once you call them out, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, it's an issue, right? Hypocrisy, double standards. That's how I'm seeing it. Is double standards and hypocrisy of what they do. Try it. I dare you. I dare that mother. I dare those women's children. I dare you 
if you're dumb enough to do it, because I feel like you are, I dare you to do what you did to me, and then you expect a backlash. You ain't going to be able to handle it. You're going to be crying wolf. I dare you to do it. I dare you to screw with somebody's family, and then expect backlash. You guys are going to be crying and say, well, everybody wants cloud. No, you guys want cloud. That's how I'm seeing it. If you are accusing people of wanting cloud, it's reverse psychology. You are projecting. You're the ones who are want cloud. You guys are wanting the attention. It's just common sense. That's what it is. You're all of you are projecting things upon people. You guys are want cloud. That's what it is. It just makes sense. You know? It doesn't make any sense. It never will. But that's why you shouldn't be popping off at everybody and anybody. Because you don't know who knows who. You don't know what that person's capable of. You don't know what their ancestor's capable of. Apparently, these people are careless to not care about that consequence. And pretty much, that's what they're learning. And they're never going to learn. They're going to keep having bad karma. They're about to have black blood if they don't knock it off in that family line. Black blood is worse than anything else. They're hurting. You want to know why? Because their ancestors are not helping them. They have no protection of what they do to others. Because God and the ancestors are trying to prove them a point that you're not going to be coming out here and being double standards and doing something to everybody and anybody or disrespecting everybody and then they want to cry wolf. When you speak up and say, well, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? These people get offended real quick. When you speak your mind or if you tell them that they're rude or they're projecting... Oh, these people get so mad. It's almost like... It's almost like they're not even human. Like, no thinking of the brain, pretty much. And people can see through manipulation and reverse psychology and narcissistic abuse. These people get so frustrated when you see right through them. Like I said, you can stop coming at me with your family. I don't care who you know. I don't care about your situation. All I cared about was Aries was mentioned because I know a KK and a crystal. But no, nope, I'm being told by my ancestors to stay clear and let you deal with your karma still. Like you guys got it piled up to the heavens of karma over your family's heads. Because you just don't know when to quit. You don't know when to stop. And that's pitiful. You think I care? No. Can I control what they pick up on? No. Because you've already ticked off my ancestors. Because you don't know if you're talking to me. You don't know if you're talking to my ancestor. You don't know if you called my ancestor a hoe in me. Pretty much, you don't know that. At the time when you're attacking me, you may have attacked my ancestor at the time when it wasn't me. You don't know that. But the ancestors do have your number. Time to pay the piper again, which that's going to be a little bit more difficulty in their lives. That's why you need to stop cussing at people. That's why you need to stop ganging up on people. And I don't care if you're a woman and a man. I'm not, I'm not about to have a dude gang up on me. That is the worst mistake anybody could ever do to me. I don't take that too kindly because I'm so used to men hurting me in my life. That if I feel like you're ganging up on me, I have a tendency to get very violent towards men and families like that. And I have my right to get violent and to feel the way that I do. Because that's the thing, though. They think it's cute. They think, they think everything they do is a game out here. And it's not a game. You know, you're you're really going to hurt somebody's family out here by you calling somebody a name. You're going to be you're going to be running into the wrong daughter or somebody's daughter or somebody's son out here. You're going to say some screwed up things where it's going to hurt your family in the end. 
that's what you're about to do. And then guess what? When that when that daughter or son cries and says, "Hey, I was bullied," they're gonna have to do a family of theirs. They're not gonna be able to handle it. You got to be careful what you say to others, because now these days. Family's got bikers now these days. Family has usually got biker families out here now these days. Oh, but you didn't know that one, did you? I got bikers as family out here. You're lucky I'm reasonable. You're lucky I'm not like Uncle Mark Dolph, but I can get to that level. If you ever disrespect me again, I ain't gonna let go. You call me a hoe, but you better be careful who you're coming at. I ain't gonna tolerate the disrespect and them trying to do this intimidating crap. It's very weak. It's very weak that you guys gotta get into a group to feel strong, but once you do it by yourself, you know you ain't powerful. Because you can't fight alone. You always gotta fight in a group. Why can't you not fight on your own? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, so you think family is stronger like that, no. It just shows your guys' character. You should have never came at me. You should have never called me names. Because I had good attentions, not bad attentions. But that's okay, though. I'm going to actually let you sit there and think what you did was almighty and glory. When you're about to find out, you're about to get slapped with more judgment and karma on your guys' life. For what you do to others. God forgive them for they not know what they do of being foolish. Now I think I'm going to get off here. I'm done talking. But I'm going to say this. Don't ever disrespect me ever again or I will get a hold of my family. And I don't fucking play out here. You want to play your childish games? Play with your mama. Not me. Have a good night though.